All right, hey guys, uh, I'm Yuzi. I'm probably one of the only non-technical, uh, maybe I am technical presenter here. Uh, I'm a product manager, uh, just so you know. Um, so um, yeah, the thing I'm gonna be uh, talking to you guys today is about, it's called Earning Sage, Investment Insights with LOM. So uh, starting with a short agenda uh, about me, problem statement, solution demo, challenge, just future work. And I think quite a, quite a good amount of people here, it's gonna be very interesting, my future work and Q&A. Uh, so starting with about me, I'm uh, currently working as a founding product manager at uh, Lepton AI. Uh, we are a smart team helping people develop the, uh, applications with LLM and AI, etc. Uh, for that, I was working at Alibaba Cloud uh, AI InfraSide on high performance computing. Also contribute uh, contribute to the product Jupyter. Um, if you guys have heard about it, uh, feel free to raise your hand. Have you guys heard about Project Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab? Come on, man, IPython. Where are you guys? Here we go. Good. Yeah, also interesting exploring the world with data, have been traveling between like multiple continents all the time. Um, yeah, so problem statement, we all know that's where the problem starts, right? The source of the problem, the money. So can you guys like show me a hand how if you like are interested in earning more money? Uh, I mean, it's not a scam, but like just show me your hands. Good. People like money, I figured. So imagine like what you, what if like you have a lot of money? What would you do? The be I wouldn't say the best way to do it, but like most lay people do it via like invest, right? You, you put money into some like, I wouldn't say finance bro, finance bro, but finance bros, well, actually portfolio managers, like you, you give them to like for, like mutual funds um, or like, I'm not, I'm not going to be saying like JPMC, but may maybe JPMC or Citadel or whatever that you're kind of like interesting investing into. And these, I wouldn't say finance bros, but finance bros again, they, they, t they take your money. And they just like make investment onto whatever sector they feel like doing it. Um, now they're challenged with like uh, investing stocks over multiple sectors, multiple companies. Uh, for example, if you're like into tech, you'll be looking at the FANGs and, uh, and and other firms as well. So imagine you are a portfolio manager. What's your life going to be like? Anyone here from the financial industry? Show of hands. Oh, come on, man. This is, this is like what East uh, West Coast looks like, huh? All right, cool. Anyways, um, yeah, before I uh, flew back to US, uh, North America, I was in Singapore back there. We have a lot of money for sure and um, portfolio managers as well. So, you know, people like portfolio managers living in Singapore, they have a really hard time like in the midnight when any firm, any tech firm in US decide to release a earning call right after their earning report. They kind of have to like wake up in the middle of the night and figure out if they're going to gonna short or long, long or short their position. So, Basically, that's what their life is, and it's also the life of my roommate back in Singapore. So I figure, you know what, I can help you with uh, with LLM and AI stuff like that. So I did this over the weekend. Uh, basically, I can allow a portfolio manager to ask me a question about what happened during the earning report or the earning call, and the model could be or the the the, the app or whatever you call it can like respond in detail. Uh, like for example, this is an actual. Uh, the showcase is like uh, during airport Apple's on your call, Tim Cook talked about this and that, yada, yada, yada. That's like detailed enough if you are, if you kind of like slept over your earning costs, uh, that's going to help you sing your ass during your second meeting with your um, colleagues if you're lucky. Um, so how did it work under the hood? So it's uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's, uh, it, uh, it's like human with like interactive, interactive uh, iterative QA with the earnings stage. And I kind of just like did a bit of like earning call transcript click, uh, collection, prompt construction and text generation. Uh, not, not fine, uh, like uh, for now, like for, for the for the demoing purpose, uh, like a while ago I used OpenAI and then later on I figured I could do more. So yeah, that's that's pretty, pretty straightforward, but talk is cheap. Let me show you guys the code and the demo. So this is like what it looks like initially. Uh, if it's too small, you guys can see it. Cool, cool. Yeah, basically you kind of imagine you're a portfolio manager working in Singapore and you slept over through the earning costs and you kind of wake up and you figure like, oh, what earning costs available on the market right now? I just ask it, right? So the, the program automatically, well, for now, like for the demo purpose, I just like script three earning costs, but like in the future, it could be scripting more earning costs and it tells you what we've got. Then the second question I could be asking, like, what's covered in uh, Apple's earning report? So imagine, like, at this point, you're you're talking to the CFO from Apple, or 
or or they're like financial experts. And under the hood, I think that goes to um, OpenAI. Yes, that's 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 pretty that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty straightforward, and um, you can definitely get more out of it. Um, does anyone here want to try a question ish? Like randomly? No. Yes. Maybe. Come on. All right. Cool. Oh man, that's tricky. Okay. So as a Kaler financial analyst, you should never ask that question, but <laughs> let's try it. Let's try it. Uh what's what's your what's your ex expectation for what? Expected revenues for Apple Vision Pro. Wow. That okay. That earning so from from the database that was like recorded back in uh, Q two report, which is about like three months ago. Back then they haven't released the Apple Revision Pro yet, but let's try it out. What's your expectation uh, expectation for revenue for Vision Apple Vision Pro? I think it's gonna do like really bad in this question, but let's let's give it a try. Give it a try. There you go. Good point. Good point. That's actually another big issue I'm having later on. Um, yeah, we'll 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 talk on that. Oh, is it free? I thought it's like what thirty five bucks or no thirty five thousand bucks something per device ish. I'm not exactly sure, but you know that's like that kind of gives you like the vibe or the feeling on how that works. And I passed it to my roommate, and he told me, if you do this, you'll be fired on the second day at the CFO of Apple. I'm like, fine, okay, but you know, back to the back to the slides. Let me let me keep you guys walk through. But that's like the short demo. Um. Like the code under the hood is like pretty straightforward. If you guys want to see the code, oh, I mean the code is open source on any, 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 anywhere. Uh, okay, work on earning stage. This one, uh, yes, yeah. Um, I mean, under, I feel like it's a bit heavy on the on the code base per se, but like uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. Like I have three Python files, agent which does what an agent should be doing. Uh, if you zoom in big, it's like very few lines of this thing. That's why I did it over the weekend. And um, that's pretty much like define. It has the agent does only one thing. It's the thing is like it returns an agent and you tell us it connects you to like defining the tools and the vector database connection. I was I was planning on having it there later on and uh, a great deal UI as the UI you guys have seen. Don't worry about, do not even worry about like looking at the code right now. They, there's a link on it and it's being like. On, on my GitHub and it's open source. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, that's basically like how it, what it looks like under the hood. It's pretty straightforward. Um, maybe not as straightforward as it looks like in the code base. So yeah. Um, back to the slide. Back to the slide. Cool. So um, Daryl was showing the code. I mean, I could be showing more code later, but that's going to be for the future work part. So challenges I've met. And I would really love to have some suggestions here and help. The first thing is, Hallucinations. Yes, the model sometimes does get the number wrong. For example, like the extraction of total revenue sometimes got messed up, which is really severe. It's it's not good at all. And the second part is like the source of information. I got asked by these portfolio managers like all the time in which part of the earning call does the model get the uh, the conclusion. Like they want to know how did you get it. Then they can say if they if they cannot have the the source of the truth, they would not be able to make their decision. So that's the second challenge I met. The third part is like the memory management because like for actually um, a de very detailed like financial report, you'll be having like analysts asking questions on and on and out. And 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 if you're like, if I'm using the man management like managed by the, by the launching by default, it's going to be like leading to a lot of other issues, especially, especially to the, to the window size limitation. And sometimes I uh, I know like people has been telling me, hey, you guys, you can switch to Anthropic. They have like 100k contents with no limitation over there. And guess what? Another thing I figure is like if you're if you're using like I'm not saying launching is bad. Launching is pretty good. I love it. Uh, if you're using launching as your like a prompt construction overlay and under the hood, you were using like uh, OpenAI and you swap to like uh, some other model. Like some nested like to uh, library there doesn't work. For example, like launching on the hood is using Tick Token, which is a Python library uh, written by OpenAI to like do the tokenization process of your of your of your input. And when you have some other models over there, it just uh, it cannot find that model and cannot do the tokenization for you. So at this point, I was kind of like concerned. How do I not like 
like two years ago, I was concerned about getting vendor locked in, and now I was like concerned about getting like software locked in. But that's where I am. But these are like challenges I met. So um, lessons learned. Um, a, it's always good to have a scratch pad, which I'm gonna be showing you guys where my scratch pad is, and of course it's Jupiter Jupiter Lab. And um, B, it's like try to make the intentions and tools as messy as possible. Which means, because like initially, when you're imagine like when you're talking to your design agent, you're like giving it few tool sets, right? Try to make these tools this intention as separate as possible, so the the agent doesn't mix, so the model doesn't like mix it up. And the third part is like read the source source code that 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 helps, especially when I ran into some like weird issue with uh stack trace and 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 launching and other stuff, especially tick token. So yeah. Um, future work. Yes, that's 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 where the, the important part is. Try performance on different models. Uh, so I actually have made some progress on um, optimizing the Vicuña 13B and both the response time and the the feedback is actually way much better. Um, also, uh, I was planning on working on better information retrieval because essentially when you're like construct your prompt, it's 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 composed of instruction and context. And I was figuring how can I get like a context better, especially for like, you want, I want to be like adding in historical earning reports. Like earning reports are different, vastly different from earning costs. Earning costs is like pretty much like what's straight up, but like earning reports, they actually have like the balance sheet and what the business is like composed of. Um, third part is like, I'm planning on build tools that are conventional, which means, um, for example, like um, imagine as, as what this gentleman has asked, like what's the expected revenue for Vision Pro? I mean, if as a product that's been there for like two years, we can make a simple linear regression to make a predict prediction. Yet, I'm not sure if we can do that with like larger language models because under the hood, it's not like the way how it works. Works. Um, yeah, and planning on citing the resource and automate the, automate the evaluation process. So I was really excited about how, like, I think the first speaker that came up here uh, went about like how building LM is a team effort. I think that could that could help a lot. So um, yeah, let me show you guys some future work. So um, take a guess, which one here is OpenAI? Uh, this is like the, it's just like the original code where I asked the same question, but to, to two different models. Take a guess, which one is OpenAI? The one in the bottom? How, how many of you guys think so? Raise your hand. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it. And second part. Um, this this is more easy, but take a for these two. Which one do you think is like if you are working as a CFO or any financial expert at Apple, you would say the question is basically asking what's your strategy of AI. Imagine you're a CFO or financial expert at Apple. What would you say? Which one is like more likely for you to say? I'd say like in summarization, the first part is like we're telling you. Um, I actually marked them in red as like uh, the first part is saying. We believe that AI should be used to augment hu uh, human capabilities, not replace them. And we are always looking for ways to use. Okay, that's like pretty much the summarizing on their on their strategy on the first part. And the second part is basically saying the customer is always the beneficial and the user is always the beneficial of how we use AI in our products. Okay, you do see how like the Apple culture is different over there. The first one is more focused on like we're a cool tech company and we have a lot of AI. And second part is you are my client and I want to serve you well. Okay, now which one do you think you would be saying if you're a what? The one what? <laughs> you change your mind? No. Uh, I mean, can we can we do a raise of hand? Like, if you think it's like the top, please raise your hand. Okay, bottom, please raise your hand. Uh, it's like 50, 50. Hard to tell, huh? See, that's why I like innovating with OM is so hard because you can't tell. So. Let me just reveal the answer um, by looking at the code base. So, um, wait, actually, yeah, I can just like remove these two. So for the first puzzle, um, the OpenAI is actually on the top. The top one is actually using OpenAI ChatGPT 3.5. And second one is actually using the fine-tuned model by the historical earning costs. Okay, so that's the first question or first puzzle. Um, OpenAI at this point decided to say has no idea how it works, but okay. Um, the second part is like the the one on top. 
is actually the vanilla Acuna Searching B, which is like fine tuned with, uh, which is like Llama, but fine tuned with GPT data. And so the lower part is uh, it's the Acuna 7B, which is like fine tuned off over financial earning costs. Within a day, I collected uh, about like uh, 900 conversations between uh, in the actual like QA session between the between the investment uh, between the investors and the uh, financial experts. So yeah, that's that's my feeling uh, when when I um, work on this. Um, but that's like part of future work. Uh, anyone want to take a guess on how much money I spend on the fine tuning? Take a guess. Come on, guys. Twenty dollars. We have twenty dollars. We have a higher more, more higher than that. Two hundred bucks. So the cost of that, that's about like uh, it's really close to twenty dollars. It's about like fifty bucks. Uh, it's basically you can go to Pen Express, get like five plates or both, whatever. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, of course, it's gonna go higher if you like put more earning costs into it. But you know, it's a it's a weekend project, so you know sometimes in the weekend I don't feel like work that hard. But you know, feel free to let me know if you're like interested in working or know like how it works under the hood. Um, yeah, uh, actually, I think it'd be pretty cool if we have a live try over here. So this is a yeah. Please do not remember all any of my API key. <laughs> Come on, um, yeah. So, so this this is using the Qunas thirteen B. Uh, I think it still works because like the session has been run before, but I don't need to like I'm, I'm I don't remember it though. Wait, the, if the internet has been disconnected, does it? Oh yeah, still works. Still works. Yes. Uh, do you guys want to have a? Oh yeah, we had a question on how the Vision Pro. Yes, right. No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. You know, that's like the let's let's make it brutal. So this is OpenAI, okay? This is OpenAI, remember it. And let's test over to Vicuña 13B Vanilla. Uh, I'm not sure if I've run it before. Okay. I mean, under, under the hood, the code base is not that complicated. You're essentially just building a retrieval QA chain with an LLM. You um, either fine tune or specify it, or you have it somewhere in the retriever. Like the, the the retriever is like ultimately something matters. It depends. It, it's gonna be like the side. That's 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 actually the key factor on how you're gonna be um getting your getting your like corpus figured. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, let me initialize the QA chain here. Please confirm your endpoint. Okay. Well. This is by see this is another um triggered by launching, but let's let's try it. Let's try it. Uh let's see what it does. That's like the vanilla the Kunya 13B. Okay. It's 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 doing good. It's at it, at at least it's not like making it up. Right? It's not it's not it's not too much. Let's try the fine tuned version of it. With like the oh, that's okay. Well, I guess all of these three choose to not answer your question. Um, yeah. So, um, that's that's pretty much it for my uh, for my weekend project. I have like open sourced it, open sourced it. I, I mean, I, I just shared it on, on on GitHub. So feel free to check out the repo. Uh, I might be pushing more code over later on. And yeah, also feel free to add me on LinkedIn. <music>no not at all they would not be using fat duty for notebooks at the for sure no um good point good point uh because you know it's a it's a weekend project uh i'm i'm happy like the code is like in my repo already feel free to use it whatever the way you want uh it'd be cool to see someone be like a more useful app for for your for your purpose yeah i, I would love that i'm not i mean i'm not an expert on front on, on front end app or like mobile app dev so Let me show you guys the training data. It's not that complicated. Yes, here we go. It's about like three megabytes of uh, training data. Uh, over 100 earning costs happened back in May 15th, 2023 across 
uh, across different industries. Yes, across different sectors. So, like, sometimes with open AI model, I'm not saying like open AI model is like bad, but like it's designed for a uh, general purpose and it's like larger. And, and, but like for a certain task, when it's like too narrow, it decides to answer you with like not knowing it. And also, like the tone that's answering the question is not as, ca- as like a cater as the financial analyst. They're not like as standard as like the uh, texts. They're not like block tasks you can just like scrape them over. And also like for earning earning report, you, what you really want is like you want a series of data, a series of like balance sheets from the past few decades. And that's like a lot of work on the data engineering side, which I do not have time on the weekend yet. So as you've seen cursor.so, Cursor is a uh, is a web I- it's an it's an IDE that kind of initially they're like the first round of companies doing like uh, co pilot. Um, also, framework price. I'm a big fan of Launchin as well. I actually, I'm like working with Launchin team lately on the on the uh, model evaluation because like you know uh, on, on model evaluation in terms of like LLMs. Um, other than that, I mean PyTorch TensorFlow that doesn't count, but I mean. Okay, I mean they're they're cool, but they're not like the new cool kid in town. So, initialize agent, initialize agent. Yeah, Chad, Chad does the agent init. In, so over here, oops, oops, oops. There you go. So the agent initialize just like takes in two tools, uh, a, a and a um, prefix prompt, and that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy. I worked on Jupyter Lab for a while, so actually, I, I think I know pretty well how to like trans- translate your workload into VS Code. So I would say, I would say maybe like environment management, yeah, environment variable management. <laughs>